This is the ISOVAR 1 demand control valve and we're going to go over how to set it up. So after it's been installed, you want to take a look at it. You know that it's a demand control valve because it has a meter assembly uh, countdown there. And also in the back of the control valve where the bypass is, you can see the meter assembly itself. So as water comes in and comes out, um, the turbine on the inside here spins, which then in turn spins this cable, and then we'll turn this gallons dial here. So on initial startup, to, to set it up, um, you'll need to know how many people are in the home using the unit and how hard the water is in grains per gallon. So the very first and easiest thing to do is to uh, input the time of day. And you do that by pushing the black button over here and just simply moving the top dial here where the, where the gears are. Um, and you can notice right here what time of day is. There's AM and PM. And you want that time of day to be the time that it is right now. Um, this valve is a delayed regeneration. So when it, the meter does zero out, it's going to wait till 2 a.m. to regenerate. So now that you know how hard the water is and the number of people, you can notice here two stick figures and a one through seven, which represent the number of people in the home. And then you have a hardness setting from zero to 100 uh, grains per gallon. So, so let's say for an example, um, we have 20 grains of hardness with four people in the home. Um, the indicator blue arrow and a white dot will, will be in alignment. You just hold down the white dot, pull out the dial a little bit, and line up the number four in people with the number 20 grains per gallon. And now that's telling us we're right in between 16 and 15, and each number on this outer dial here represents 100 gallons. So we're in, in between about 1600 and 1500 gallons per regeneration. So as we use water, and I'll simulate that, um, the dial will count down counterclockwise and once it reaches zero, where zero is lined up with the blue arrow, it will regenerate at 2 a.m. Because you told it that there were four people in the home at 20 grains of hardness, that will calculate 75 gallons per person per day so that if it is noon let's say and it zeroes out you still have one day's worth of water so that the water will always remain soft. Another option is if 2 a.m. is um, not a good time for you and you would be using water at that time um, you can just change the time of day um, to full the clock so that at 2 a.m. you're actually um, it's actually not 2 a.m. So, um, and then once it starts as a regeneration, simulate that, turn the dial, and as you can see in the window here, it tells you which stage of the regeneration that you're in. The total regeneration time is about two hours, and once it's back in service, you'll notice we're right back at our starting point, which is the blue arrow, the white dot, and we're right in between 15 and 16. And that's all you have to do to set it up. Um, always refer to your manual, and you can also visit our website at watersoftink.com.